In this video, I am going to solve the problem 15 from chapter 26. A heater contains a nichrome wire. Its resistivity value is 5 multiplied 10 power minus 7 ohm meter of length 5.85 meter with an end to end potential difference of 112 volt and with a dissipation power of 4000 watt. So here we have two questions. In the first question, we are going to find what is the wire's cross-sectional area. And the second question is, if 100 volt is used to obtain the same dissipation rate, what should be the length? So here, in the first part, they ask us to calculate the cross-sectional area because the area will not change. And what are the information given here? The resistivity of the nichrome wire is given here. So that means rho of nichrome, that means I'm going to use N value. So rho of nichrome, that means the resistivity of the nichrome wire is 5 multiply 10 power minus 7 ohm meter. And the length of the nichrome wire is 5.85 meter. And the potential we applied here is 112 volt. And also the power dissipation rate means here they mentioned the power, which is 4000 watt. By using all these, we are going to find what should be the cross-sectional area. That means we are going to calculate the value of the area. So let's we solve one by one. So first of all, I'm going to find the value of the area. So for this, I have to use two relations because why? The information about the power is also given here. So we have to take the two rule. One is the power calculation. So what is the rule? As I already mentioned in the previous video, we have three rules. What are the rules for the power? Power P is equal to I multiplied by V, power P is equal to I square multiplied by R, and also power P is equal to V square over R. So now what I'm going to do, as we already have the value of the power here, so we have to take one rule for our calculation. So this one is better for us. I will explain why I'm going to use this, because the current information is not given here. Clear? And also, we are going to use the rule for the resistance. So first of all, I'm going to use the power P is equal to V square over R. And also, I'm going to use the rule for the resistance. R is equal to rho L over A. So why I choose this third formula? Because here we have to compare, we have to make these two equation in terms of resistance. Okay. So if you rearrange this power equation in terms of resistance, therefore R is equal to V square over P. And also here R is equal to rho L over A. If you see the left hand side of this two equation, it's exactly the resistance. So we can equate these two equation for calculating the value of the area. So therefore, V square over P, which is equal to rho L over A, we are going to calculate the value of this area. So therefore, the area is equal to this P, that means power will go to the right hand side of the numerator. So that means power multiplied by the resistivity of the nichrome. So better I can use N here. So the resistivity of the nichrome multiplied by length as well as this area will come to the left hand side of the numerator by that this voltage square will go, come to the right hand side of the denominator. So your equation will come like this. Now I'm going to substitute the value here for getting the answer for the first question. So in this question, they give the information about the power as 4000 watt, right? And also the nichrome wire resistivity is given 5 multiply 10 power minus 7 ohm meter and also they mentioned the information about the length as 5.85 meter, right? 5.85 meter. And also they mentioned the voltage is 112 square. If you calculate this, we will get the answer for the first question. That is the area, the cross-sectional area of the wire is A is equal to 9.33 multiply 10 power minus 7 meter square. So this is the answer for the first question. So in the second part, what they mentioned, we have to go back to a question. What is mentioned in this question? In the second part, in place of this 112 volt battery, we have to replace this 112 with 100 volt. And the rest of the things are exactly the same. That means if you are using in place of 112 with 100 volt, you will get the same dissipation rate at 4000. By that, how much length is needed? 
that means how much the length of the wire is needed so better i can just write one more time what is given in the second part for finding the length of the wire they said we have to replace this 112 voltage as 100 volt by that again we have to get the same dissipation rate that means the power value as 4000 watt so if you just replace this volt 112 with 100 volt what should be the length of the wire is needed because the cross section area will not change so we can use this value for our calculation again for getting the answer for the b part i have to use the same two equation power p is equal to v square over r as well as the resistance r is equal to rho l over a so i have to rearrange this equation the power equation in terms of resistance therefore r is equal to v square over p and here r is equal to rho l over area if you see these two equations the left hand side of the equations indicates the resistance so i can equate the right hand side of both equation if you equate the right hand side of both equation we will get voltage square over power which is equal to the resistivity of the necro multiplied by length over area so this time we have to rearrange this equation in terms of length because we are going to find the length of the wire therefore length l is equal to you have to rearrange this equation therefore area multiplied by voltage square over power multiplied by the resistivity of the necro now i am going to substitute the value so for area i am going to take the answer from the first part so what is the answer in the first part we got 9.33 multiplied 10 power minus 7 i am going to use here because the cross sectional area will not change right so we can take the answer from the first part so i have to substitute the value of the area here as 9.33 multiplied 10 power minus 7 and this time we have to replace this voltage instead of 112 we have to use 100 volt so this is square value right over the power again we have to use the same power 4000 watt and the resistivity of the material is 5 multiply 10 power minus 7 if you calculate you will get the new length as 4.67 meter so this is the answer for this question that's it thank you